Have you ever wanted to grow hydroponic tomatoes indoors? If you have, I'm going to show you one easy method so that you can harvest tomatoes indoors all year round. And we're starting right now. What's up guys, my name is John. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other hydroponic videos, start now by clicking the subscribe button and clicking the bell so you don't miss out on a thing. All right guys, so today we're talking about how to grow hydroponic tomatoes indoors so that you can harvest fresh homegrown tomatoes year round. So no matter the weather, you can grow tomatoes indoors and enjoy that fresh, delicious tomato at any time. All right guys, so we are back and here we are looking at the things that we will need uh, to start our hydroponic tomatoes uh, to grow indoors. Now it's real simple to do. Uh, this is the first part of this series. We're gonna be starting the seeds Let's get to it. So the, the items that you will need, okay? Uh, you will need some sort of a container uh, to put these. So you'll need Rockwell cubes uh, of some sort. So you, these are one and a half inch by one and a half inch. Uh, you can really do it with any size, uh, but what I find is the one and a half inch works okay and then the two inch works okay. So, uh, we may so to start, you'll need some Rockwell cubes. You'll need a tray to put them in whether it be something that you have bought to use for that specific purpose. This is just a, a drawer organizer. Uh, you can use a repurposed uh, salad green container as a little mini greenhouse. You'll need some water. You'll need your cherry tomato or whatever tomato seeds. In this case, we're doing cherry tomatoes. Those are the seeds. And you'll also need something to label uh, the seeds with. So, let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take your rock wool cubes, and I've got, this is just regular water uh, that's been sitting out, so it's dechlorinated. You're gonna wanna take, and to do that, you just leave it set down for about 24 hours and it'll be just fine. Uh, that lets the, chlorinate, the, the chlorine dissipate. Okay, so you're gonna take your rock wool cube and you're just gonna dip it in the water. What this does will get the rock wool cube to absorb the water that it needs. And then what I find is I usually like to squeeze out some of that water. So just like that, just to remove that excess. And then one more. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna squeeze out that excess. Okay. Once you're done that, you can set your tub of water aside. Okay, and then the very next step. Uh, so this case, we'll be starting two types of seeds. Uh, they're both cherry tomatoes. One is a determinate variety. This is a micro tom. Uh, the plant really only gets uh, 10, 8 to 10 inches tall total. And then in this case, this is a cherry falls and this is a indeterminate. So we're going to give that a go. So the first thing you'll do is you'll take your seeds. These are both from Totally Tomato. They've got a really good selection of tomato seeds. And you want to, I'm going to start probably two seeds. So I'm gonna take my label. This is the micro tomato. And I'm just gonna poke a little hole in the in the rock wool cube. Uh, you, can poke mo you can put multiple holes in the rock wool and put them in their own separate hole or you can just put them in one, uh, which is what I tend to do. Um, and then separate them later, which is completely uh, possible to do as well and you just kind of poke them down in there and then you're going to put the label in the rock wool okay same thing two seeds there we go simple as that and you just press them down in there there we go and you put your label in that's all there is to it You'll simply put this into its tray, uh, either you know whatever container you have, and then you put that on a heat mat or in some a place that's warm. Uh, allow those to germinate. You'll put them in a net cup, and then you'll put them into a container 
uh, something that will hold the nutrients. But here is a look at a couple of them that I have in mason jars. These are a couple of micro tomatoes that I've started. Uh, and they're in rock wool in a net cup, just like that. And you can see the root system. And this one, I've taken the paper off to show you, but this one has just got the nutrient system, the nutrients in there. And you can see the amount of tomatoes that are on this. And I've already harvested a couple. But just look at the tomatoes. And these are grown indoors with very little lighting. This is, they've just been in a room with some ambient light. Uh, they were under grow lights at first, and then now they're just kind of in, uh, now that they're more mature, they're in just an area with ambient lighting. And see, but you can see all the tomatoes that are on this, that are on these plants. Uh, and they're still they're still setting fruit. Now these two these are like I said these are the micro tomatoes, so these will set all of their fruit at one time, and for the most part ripen at one time. So if you want like this one's still fruiting, like this one has only got one ripe tomato on it. There's a bunch of little ones that aren't aren't ripe yet, but it's still wanting to set fruit. But yes, these tomatoes are doing good. So you can eat fresh tomatoes indoors, no matter the temperature outside, um, using this method. So, so that was a look at one of the ways that you can grow fresh tomatoes indoors uh, using hydroponics. Um, you can do it just like I have and get fresh tomatoes right off your windowsill, right off your dining room table by using this method. If you're growing tomatoes this year, uh, are you growing them indoors? Are you growing them outdoors? Are you growing them both? Are you doing hydroponics? Are you doing regular uh, soil? Uh, if you are, uh, just let me know that in the comment section below and I would love to hear from you. And if you're new, drop me a hashtag new in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more about sustainable gardening, gardening tips and tricks, and other hydroponic videos, Start now by clicking the subscribe icon and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. Thanks everyone for watching and if you like this video, check out one of these and I will see you in the next one.